Introducing the Wall of Heroes. These are all real people who did amazing things to make our world a better place. Let's make your own amazing hero to go on the wall with them. First, what do you want your hero to look like? Amazing! Use any of these buttons to personalize your hero. Hmm, maybe let's start by choosing a hat. That looks awesome! When you're done, hit the check mark to save your hero. Let's see what kind of hero you can make. That looks awesome! Beautiful! Loving it! Oh yeah! So awesome! I like it! Whoa! Cool! Nice! I like it! Heroically good pick! Factor Zoom approves! Neat pick! Amazing! Awesome! I love it! Amazing hero! That looks awesome! Nice choice! I like your style! Remember, you can use the check mark button to save your hero. Oh yeah! Wow, nice hero! You can also add it to your own book cover or a poster with your favorite real life hero. First, let's give your hero a name. <laughs> I like that name. Use the arrows to pick an amazing saying for your hero. Whenever you're ready, hit the check mark button to go back. Help up change the world. Help others. Wow, nice hero! Now let's add your hero to a poster with your favorite real life hero. If you want to change your hero, you can use this button. Use this button to go back to the wall of heroes. Let's add a real life hero to your poster. Your poster looks awesome! Whenever you're ready, hit the check mark button to go back. Wow, nice hero! If you want to change your hero, you can use this button. Use this button to go back to the wall of heroes. Hey look, it's your hero on the wall. Select any of your heroes to change them or select a plus button to make a new one. You can also select any of the real life heroes to learn more about them. Explore the wall of heroes and see who you'll meet.
George Washington was the very first president of the United States. Of course, a good leader takes care of his team. Of course, a good leader takes care of his team. Tomioka Tessai's paintings told stories that were special to him, and he was proud to tell them. <laughs> Sharing stories about my family makes me feel proud. Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt, and she was born a long, long, long time ago. I'm going to ask him the right way. I'll be prepared, confident, and polite. Isaac Newton was one of the greatest scientists ever. When I slow down and think through problems, I usually come up with a solution. George Washington Carver taught people how to take care of the earth and themselves. People call me the plant doctor because I'm always helping plants. It's important to take care of the earth, you know. Leonardo da Vinci dreamed up ideas for lots of stuff we still use today. Um, well sure, art is fantastic. But it's okay to try many different activities. Alexander Graham Bell worked his whole life to help people speak for themselves. Oh yes, not everyone speaks like we do, but we all have something to say. So it's very important we listen to Nightingale was a nurse who taught us lots to help people feel better. Helping people always feels good. It's proof of just how important it can be to help people as best you can. It's very hard for her. That's why I'm trying to teach Helen a different way to hear and speak, so people know what she needs or wants to say. Harry Houdini was such a brave magician. Try taking a deep breath to calm down. It'll make you feel better. Mary Shelley had such a big imagination. I say let your imagination run wild and have fun telling stories your own way. Marie Curie did amazing things as a scientist. No, I will follow my dream no matter what. I just do not know. Johann Sebastian Bach wrote a ton of amazing songs. If you want to get better at something, you have to work hard on practice. I'm going to practice right now. <laughs> 